My name is Emma Boyd. I am from Omaha, Nebraska, and I joined AmeriCorps so I could finally start doing things for people and not just learning about how to do things for people. The thing that affected me the most going into homes, doing assessments, and talking to homeowners was seeing and realizing that it's been five months since the storm and people have continued to have to live in these homes in the conditions that they're in and that um, we're going in for one or two days hopefully making a difference but they've been living in them for months and um, might not get the help that they need in the future very soon so it's just how even though the disaster hit months ago, it's still affecting them day to day. Okay, so we completed 20 tarping jobs, 17 muck and gut and mold suppression jobs, and we did eight assessments as a team. What I'm going to take away from the Florida disaster deployment is the importance of perseverance through each workday because it matters a lot for our team to bring 110% to help our team and to help the community that we're working with every single day and not just some of the days. Hi, my name's Kate Mosca. I'm from Rochester, New York, and I joined AmeriCorps because um, my college background is in criminal justice and psychology, so I wanted to continue with um, service work. We just returned from Florida. We were in Brevard County, and we spent the last six weeks doing a lot of muck and gutting and tarping roofs. Well, specifically in Brevard County, AmeriCorps had three NCCC teams and a WCC team, and we actually completed all the high and medium priority work orders for our county, so that we were really successful and we got a lot of the jobs that need to be done completed, so I think we did a good, good work there. I think one thing that I really took away from being on a disaster deployment is that the power of teamwork and having good neighbors. There was a lot of um, places we went that someone knew someone else who needed help and they like gave us their names and stuff. So we were actually able to go and help people who didn't even know we existed. So I think just having like us be there was a, made a big difference. Um, and I didn't really think a group of 18 to 24 year olds could make a big difference in a community, but we really did. So it was nice to see that. I think one important thing that a lot of people don't realize is that even though it is five months later, there's still a lot of people that need help. And we came across a lot of people who were like, oh, you're going to Florida, like you're a little late. And we're like, no, there's all these people who from high priority to even the smallest things that we can help. So I think just keep going out there and keep helping people. Um, like there's never too little help. There's always someone you can help.